I am a good old rebel, now that's just what I am. Just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. Beats all you never saw, been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. What up, y'all? That just doesn't sound right. Anyway, y'all know who I am. Y'all know what I do. Y'all know what I stand for. Anyway, I'm up here at the... Uh, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get a picture. Corsite Laundromat. Had to bring a friend of mine up here so she could do her laundry. And uh, we were sitting there talking, and we were talking about uh, bedding and stuff. And how um, if any of you have, like, a queen or king mattress and you buy the new one, I have a 14-inch thick mattress. So when you buy sheets, you have to buy those little clips that go under the bottom to hold your sheet on. Well, before I knew about those clips, which us rednecks don't know about much, but when I when I found out about the clips, I ended up getting them. But before that, and you put the sheet on your bed and you go to jump into bed, guess what happens? That sheet comes up from, and it goes on all four corners. Well, I was telling her the one day, or the one night I got in bed, and I noticed that the fucking, the two of the corners had came up well while I was sleeping the other two came up well when I got up in the morning I was wrapped up in the fitted sheet and couldn't get out I was trying to get out of bed literally this happened and I'm not joking I was wrapped up in the sheet and I tried to squir uh, to squirm down to the edge of the bed because I can't get uh, I can't get out on the sides because I can't walk around the bed anymore so I'm trying to squirm down I was trying to get my foot out got my foot stuck and my both of my feet were stuck inside the sheet because the fitted sheet had wrapped around my legs. Literally fell flat on my face. I went from the bed and I went head over heels onto the floor. Yeah. Yep, I did that. I can laugh about it now because it's funny as hell. But we were talking about the clips and one night, um, and this just happened like two days ago. Um, I put those clips on the bottom of my new sheets that I have on my bed. Well, I had noticed that uh, the clip had came undone, so it unclipped from the, the fitted sheet. And I was like, what in the world's going on with this thing? So I grabbed the mattress and pulled it out, and it still had the elastic to it, and the thing come up and popped me right in the mouth. Just bare to be repeated. So I had to tell you guys this. This is what's been going on, just goofy shit. I'm getting things organized. Um, finally getting things done the way I need to get them done. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, just doing a bunch of things that I need to get done. Uh, still got a bunch of shit I'm fighting um, and going through. I don't want to get into specifics. Um, when all this is over and said and done with, if anybody wants to know what's going on, I, I probably I won't do a video on it. But if you guys want to know, I can tell you. Um, uh, that would be either on Facebook or something like that. I can private message you. Um, this has all been a shock to me. It's it's hard to go through. Um, I really wish things would have worked out, but it just wasn't in the cards. So, anyway, I'm getting better. I'm getting things cleaned up. I'm doing what I need to do. And uh, trying to think what else. Um, I got some clips that I'm working on right now for you. Um, and they were a couple of uh, uh, clips that people wanted. Someone wanted to know about the license plates that are hanging up in my rig. So I will do a video, or I've got video clip of that that I will actually put up. Um, there was something else too, and I can't remember. Oh, now I'm having a brain fart. Um, they want to know about that, and then uh, fart in a skillet. Oh well, I'll I'll probably end up remembering it later. But um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going I'm to add this all together into this video here. So uh, I hope y'all are being uh, I hope y'all are being happy. Um, I want to do a video on Sophia. Now, just so you know, there's a reason why I'm doing this video. None of you will ever find out this reason, but there's a reason for it, and it's freaking hilarious. So, but I can't tell you about it. So maybe one day I can tell you. No, I, there's no way I can tell you. Just know that I'm going to be doing a, a video on Sophia. And uh, I, you guys are going to laugh at it because it is going to be freaking hilarious. So anyway, 
Y'all be safe. Love one another. Be kind to one another. And live life to the fullest because tomorrow's not promised. And uh, I love everybody. Um, I had a comment yesterday. I just I had to repeat this because the video I put the the lady was like, you know, you got such high morals and standards, and how can you support Donald Trump? You know what? Because I look at who he was running against, and I know what that crooked bitch has done, and I am not going to support anybody. The only reason, and this is, I don't got getting into politics, and you guys make me get into it. The reason I voted for Donald Trump is because he's not a fucking politician. He is a businessman, and that's exactly what this country needed. Um, like I said, and I will say this until I'm blue in the face, I do not like everything he does. But when it comes to running this country, he's a good man. A lot of people think he's um, he's a bigot, he's a racist, and all this other shit. I don't care what you guys think. And, and then she actually said, I was a racist because of the way I said the things about Obama. I'm not racist against anybody. You guys know half my family is black. Um, I have a lot of Mexican friends. I have black friends. I have all different Asian friends. I have gay friends. I have lesbian friends. I have transgender friends. And somebody wants to call me racist. All I can say is you can't fix stupid. Um, those of you who know me know me that I'm not racist. So um, I didn't like the comment because it was hurtful. Because I can't believe people in this, in this life or in this world want to be sheep. I'm not a sheep. I'm a leader. And I'm not going to be led to slaughter like a lot of these far left wingers are. Um, I'm not saying that about everybody because I do have a lot of friends that are on the left that are good people, but they don't, they are not so far left leaning that you can't actually talk to them. Some of these people, you try to talk to them and you can't, you can't even hold a conversation. For an example, peanut butter, me and peanut butter do not see eye to eye on politics, but him and I respect each other enough where we can actually have a conversation about it and we can hold a conversation without getting pissed at people. And me and him can do that respectfully with one another. And that's why I love this guy to death because he can actually, he will listen to me and I will listen to him. And it's a mutual respect. So peanut butter, if you're watching this, Kevin, I love you, brother. And I know we don't see eye to eye, but the respect that you give me is the respect that I will give you because we both don't we don't we just don't see eye to eye on everything so but there's no difference in that so anyway i just wanted to bring that up um if you if you don't agree with my political views and you don't like the channel and you don't want to be here unsubscribe i don't give a shit i really don't i don't fucking care um it just it hurts that people still think that i'm racist and I am the farthest thing from it. You ask any of my closest friends. I know. I keep rambling on about this shit. Um, so we'll stop that. The good news. The good news. And I'll make another video about this. I'm not going to say that right now. But I'm getting close to 500 viewers. And I will make a video on that. So, And I'll probably make that right after I get off of this one. So, Anyway, y'all be good. Be safe. Love one another. Be kind to one another. And... Live life to the fullest because tomorrow is not promised. What's up? Y'all be good. Later, Gator. All right, you pudding addicts. Um, this video is part of the, what I just talked about. Um, I had some people wanting to know what the license plates were about. And it's just good old redneckery. It's for decoration. But I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to show you what I have up on the wall and on all this good stuff. So let me turn this around and get this party started. So those of you who know, my name is Dustin. All these license plates are mine. I have Illinois, Arizona, Georgia, Illinois, Illinois, and those two are the same ones. And then this one right here, <clears throat> I want to explain this one. Went up to the swap meet, the Wyoming 1982. This is the reason why I got it. It's a house trailer plate. I've never seen one. But it fits in with the decor of the rest of them. So it's, I pretty much call this redneckery decor. So I have all my redneck stuff. Um, I also picked this up, which y'all know I'm, I'm a huge American. If you haven't been able to tell, 
And then I got this a long time ago. Um, the only other one I've seen of this is like half the size of this. And uh, it sold for 300 bucks. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. And then those of you who don't remember, this is the dollar bill I have. And it says not to be used for bribing politicians. That's exactly what that says. As long as I have that, I'll never be broke. But I love that. I don't know who put it on there. But anyway, let me turn this back around real quick and sit down. All right. So anyway. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, so the reason why I put those up there, I've had them in my rig this entire time. They've been sitting actually underneath my desk right in front of me. And I didn't know what to do with them. Well, one day I was counting out. And I had, seven, I think it was seven plates. Yeah, I had seven plates, but I had eight cabinets. So that's why I went and bought the last one, so it would kind of fit in. But I like the house trailer one because this is more like a house trailer, so to speak. It's a, it is, it's a house trailer. It's a house on a trailer, even though it's a travel trailer. <laughs> anyway, so someone wanted to know about those, so I, I wanted to get a video, a small video of those. Another thing I wanted to bring up too, which I need to turn the camera around again so you guys can see this. Um, I just made the video and said I can't walk around my bed. Uh, my bed's not really made that well right now, but I wanted to bring this up. So let me turn this around. When I told you guys I cannot get around the edge of my bed, it's because my bed comes all the way out to the wall. It's not because I can't fit there. Well, I can't fit there because on both sides of the bed, there are cabinets. And there's no way of walking around. I can put my feet down there, and I can put my feet down there. But I cannot do it over here. This is my, this is actually my dresser. This is my unmentionables and my shirts and shorts and all that stuff. All that stuff goes there. And a checkerboard with a bunch of stuff inside it. Plus uh, a nightstand that's got some movies and some other stuff in there. And that's the reason why I cannot get around the bed. is because it's blocked. Alright, so I'm back. And another thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, a lot of people have said... You know, you need to lose some weight because you breathe heavy. Here's the problem with that. Even when I was skinnier, I still breathe heavy. I'm a heavy breather. There's nothing I can do about it. Anytime I talk or whatever, I have a very freaking small nostrils. So when I breathe, you can hear it. And it's not something that I can fix. Not unless they got a new fucking tool that can make your nostrils wider. So I don't have to, so I'm not breathing as much. Um, if you guys haven't been able to tell, I got a freaking huge watermelon head with a little tiny itty bitty nose. And I call it my ski jump. But that's the reason why I breathe heavy. It's not because I'm a big guy, because even when I was younger, I still, I, I, was, I was breathing heavy all the time. I've always breathed heavy. And I've always had asthma my entire life. Um, even back uh, before my incident, when I worked, I always breathed heavy. I never, I've never been out of breath. It sounds like I am, but I don't know what causes it, but I always breathe heavy, just so you guys know. Um, had a comment on that, too. <coughs> um, and that was the thing that I had mentioned in the video. That was another thing someone brought up is about, God, you always breathe heavy. Um, the reason I, I've always breathed heavy. That's just all there is to it. Um, another thing, I don't know what else there is to bring up. Um, I mentioned that I'm going to do a, a video on Sophia, and I am going to do a video. There is a huge... Um, I'm not I'm not mentioning anything about it. I just need to do a video on Sophia, and you guys are going to laugh your ass off when you see it, because I'm, I'm going to make it... I'm going to try to make it funny. And if I make it funny, some of you might think it's funny. Some of you might like, oh my god, this guy has turned total retard on us. Which is fine. You know me. And I, I, I've told you guys I'm not right. But I'm not wrong either. Um, I am goofy, I will continue to be goofy, and I've always been goofy, so I hope you guys can deal with that. So, I want to do that. Um, it's supposed to rain Thursday or Friday. Today is Tuesday. Um, I need to get up on my rig tomorrow and do some sealing, and I might try to videotape a little bit of that. Um, I need to try to do the back corners too, and try to get them sealed before it rains. Um... Now that I'm not all stressed out and 
worrying about shit. Maybe now I can start getting the few. I got just a few little things to do on the outside. I still need to clean the windows and clean the screens off and shit like that. But that stuff can wait for right now. I just may, I need to put a little more um, silicone on the roof to make sure no water gets in anywhere. That's my biggest concern is making sure water doesn't get in. Um, so anyway, that's it for now. Um, I wanted to show you the license plate and I want to tell you about the breathing. Um, I hope you all guys have a, a great night and uh, 508 subscribers. What else can I say? I'm freaking happier than the bear shitting in the woods, wiping his ass with a big, fat, white, hairy rabbit. And the rabbit doesn't have a problem with shit sticking to its fur. Anyway, y'all be good, be safe, love one another, be kind to one another. Live life to the fullest because tomorrow's not promised, people. You hear me? And always, you know, you know me. I love God. Um, God bless y'all. And put in for president. Peace! So put your drinks up for the weekend Cause them work days sure been creeping What's up? Is anybody gonna get tore up?